What is happening, folks? We're back. We didn't think we'd be back. Nope, not at all. <laughs> we thought Monster Problem was going to be like a funny little one-off. And then it was fun. And then it was fun. And... And you watched it. And you watched it a lot, so... I guess... I don't like that our thing is stupid dating sims. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess that's what we're doing now. It's a niche that needs to be filled. I still think we need to watch chick flicks. <laughs> Maybe. I'll think about it. Let's let's not do the 20 minute intro this time and just jump into it. Yeah, we know what we're doing this time. We're getting into there. Uh, two players. That guy in the left. Second is... term. Oh god. Full game. Full game? We did a full game last time. Share controller. Spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid, but we've also read this before. Yes. Sometimes reckless and brilliant, sometimes just stupid, always. So. But last... always willing to live free. So last time what? we played this, we both failed. Oh yeah, we got dumped hard on our asses. But that's fine, because this is Dankenstein's Revenge. Oh yeah. A uh, name pending. And I'm gonna pick a better name. Cause, cause, uh, you're, cause it sucked last time because I thought we were both Frankenstein's, but I put Dankenstein and I wasn't a Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, and then my name had no context. <laughs> because it just sucked. <laughs> yeah. Um, we failed in all aspects of our last video. Mission failed. We'll get them this time. Oh, there are new. Pl there aren't any new playable characters. That's fine. Uh, I'll be you. Name. I'll keep you as red. I think she's. A, I think she's a red. Okay. You're up, so, um, I, I'm one trick for, um, this guy. Yep. But then you could actually be the Frankenstein and call her Dankenstein. Um, this is, uh, hmm. Hold on, this is the hardest part, <laughs> as you can tell. Yes. So, um, uh, I think since this time we're gonna win. Yep. And... What's something you do when you're winning? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't win much. Me neither. That's why I'm asking you. Uh, you rank up Frankenstein? No. Because he's not, he's not a Frankenstein. Remember that. It's fine. You're, you're going to turn into the skid? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me spit fucking cranberry juice on my setup. Can I put a space? I don't think there's a space option. Okay. Dankenstein 2. <laughs> this time it's Dankenstein. Alright. Ooh, this is new. That is new. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all screaming to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. That says <laughs> scrambling. Scott Howell, 21. Again, how is this high school? They're, they're dropouts, or it's college, one of the two. A werewolf athlete who compensates for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. We know this. Fuck you, you yeah, you, you yeah. lost your chance. Miranda Vanderbilt at the age of 19, weighing in at fish pounds. <laughs> Sweet mermaid princess, cute and genocidal, we know your thing. I really like that new pick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Polygate. Geist? Polygeist. Polygeist. 22. Okay. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. I like that new picture. I was thirsty last time we played. <laughs> Damien Valet. LeVay? LeVay. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Excuse me. Poor. Ex excuse me? Dankenstein to read. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. We didn't really talk to him because he was scary. We didn't. And fuck this guy. We didn't talk to him because he was annoying. Liam de Lioncourt, four hundred over four hundred years old. Some uh, a hipster, hipster vampire who stands off who stand offish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Fuck you. Nah, he was a bitch. You're a dick. Who are you? Zoe. Okay, I'm reading. An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. What? There's more? <gasps> Calculester! <laughs> Call it Packard. <laughs> Version 1.0. A library computer had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. 
His name is Calky Lester. Calky Lester. He's the best. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. She looks like she wants to step on somebody. <laughs> like, not for any purpose other than to assert dominance. She can step on me. What are you talking about? <laughs> not if she steps on me first. Or Bet. She, or if she doesn't step on anybody because she's a snake. <laughs> It was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? We only have three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only have three weeks to, to woo them and conquer their heart. Ooh. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Oh, this is going to be awful. This is going to be great. Here, I'm going to move my chair. All right, Let's stupid do pop quiz. Time. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Preach. We're using our PhD in bullshit to give you stats. Red. Red. Next big social media craze. Next big social media craze. Uh, Greek Agoras. The literal Greek Agoras reinstated in our cities. Places where philosophy and art are discussed by greater minds. That social media... I want to log into. Nah. <laughs> that sounds like bullshit. It's a it's Facebook, but each time somebody shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. <laughs> and the money goes to the people who exposed to that bullshit. <laughs> Robert. From now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to do through the app that by its users. I like bullshit. I do too. <laughs> So wealthy. <laughs> what would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? Uh, the phone number of that sexy tiger on the front of the box. He's so passionate about breakfast and health that he's surely a great lover. <laughs> Call 800 girl. A sample of a more nutritious breakfast option so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. And a tiny piece of sharp metal, so every scoop will be full of thrill and danger. Yes. I'm gonna go with the, this fun one up here. So bold. So charming. charming. So wow. What criteria would you use to name your children? Just a swear word. My name plus the second. Meh, no name. It's just too much work. Uh, the name of my favorite ship, like... Galavik, Dare, or Narfield. Narfield. Oh. oh no. Oh no. No fucking. Something listen. simple and friendly, like Bobby or Mary. Child plus current version based on birth order. Child one, child two. Hmm. Only one of those is appropriate for someone with my ego. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Keith the second. Not like, I like child one. Not like Keith Allen Jr. Like, you will be Keith the second, so that you are forced to remember that you are the sequel. <laughs> Ooh, I already got bonus points with, uh, with Calculester. Okay, so you find your zodiac sign to be inaccurate. Design your own personal zodiac sign. The happy-go-lucky ecstasy pill. The ambiguous iguana. The now-canon lovers. The rich bitch. The cute pup and the rad sword on fire. Uh, I'll say the happy go lucky ecstasy pill. I'm gonna go with uh, now cannon lovers. I do like cannons. I don't think that's what they mean. I, I think that's what I want it to mean. Oh, you got bonus points with the Eldritch girls. You Zoe. see? That's how stupid people work. <laughs> it's the <laughs> stupid bitch energy. <laughs> Oh, I get it. She's a fangirl. The now canon lovers. I don't know how I did that. that I'm magic. up. That was magic. All right. Uh, lots of smarts. Good boldness. Good money. Not weak in creativity, charm, and fun, though. Hmm. I'm smart, so I don't have to go to class. Uh, what would Calcu... Oh, yeah, I'm smart. I'm good for Calculester. Uh, hey. So, hey. Yeah. Unless he doesn't like smart people, because he is the smart one. What yeah. if he want, What if he wants another half? Where do I go for creativity? The auditorium. Ooh, she's hot, literally. 
Oh, because she's like a pyromancer. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that day while rehearsing for the class play, as it's as though the Ooh. muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Figurative. Figurative. Emphasis. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Yeah, so it is high school. How are these people like over What if it's a high school play, but it's not a high school? That I'm make... allowed to say stupid stuff. <laughs> I gave plus Why three creativity. Why would we be here? All right, my creativity's beefed. Okay. You notice Polly stumbling around her ha with okay, half her you body in calculus. She looks like she's having a great time. Calculister doesn't seem to think so. Yes. <laughs> oh, friend exhibiting non-standard behavior. Viral infection. <laughs> Probable. What was that noise? I don't know. I think that was his fucking horn going off. You want to voice Polly? Sure. You voiced her last time, I think. Let me find it. Yep. I'm a drunk bitch, and I'm 20. No way, dude. I just got tested, and I'm super... <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Maybe try Ooh. drunk. <laughs> what is drunk? It's like, you know how sometimes you're on a safari, but all the lions are wearing oven mitts and your binoculars are your mom? No. <laughs> Me neither. What were we talking about? Danger. Viral infection so far advanced that friend is incapable of making sense. Drastic action required. Oh boy. <laughs> Looks like it's up to you to talk Calculester down or sober Polly up. Someone's going up or someone's going down. Let's see. Calculester just needs to understand what being drunk feels like. Then he'll get it. Ask him to divide by zero. <laughs> Calculester's right. Polly is in danger. Better hurry up and take her to the... Uh... Antivirus meeting, you know, an AA meeting. <laughs> this is great. Which one would... I like the first one, but it's not my call. Uh, I also like I also like the first one, but if it lowers my chances with Calculester, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, what if he likes it? Okay, there? yes. So smart. My programmers told me never to divide by zero. But if my friends are peer pressuring me into it... Do it. Do, do it. it. It must be a good idea. Okay, here I go. Dividing by zero. <laughs> Holy shit, he's gonna do it. He's doing it, guys. I feel funny. <laughs> but I also Ooh, feel... Like you're suddenly an incredibly good dancer. How did you know? Oh no, he's impressionable. <laughs> right there with you, buddy. You wanna go to karaoke bar and butcher some motherfucking classics? <laughs> I am a karaoke machine. Literally. Literally, I am a karaoke machine. Sing into my butt. Cool. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, hello there, Red. Didn't see you there. BC of my optics are sorcery malfunctioning. Yes, <laughs> I've got. Oh my God, his face! I read it as Asian. <laughs> but look at his face. <laughs> Time out. T.O. T.O. I need a sip. Uh, no. The free rules are well corrupting the hard drives of the youth. You're the best, Red. <laughs> now it's a party. You spend several hours getting wasted with Polly and singing into calculus for his ass. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. First date, you're already eating his ass. Oh, God. There. All right, I'm gonna... You're up. Damn it, I got points for so, Polly and not Calculus. Last time I got absolutely smoked, I was talking about Elder Tours, but then I went to a level I never reached and became a zombie, which <laughs> means I'm starting the same way I always start. Wait, what are my stats? Uh, Smarts, boldness. You're not fun. Shit. You're not I'm fun not or creative. Fun. I'm not fun or creative, but I have some decent money, mediocre charm, and good smarts. But I'm just kind of worse than you in every category. Ha. <laughs> start the same way we always start out. In the bathroom. Because this is where we get. I guess some people. Okay, by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. I think you would give more shits in the bathroom. <laughs> Did I say that last time? 
I don't I don't think so. That seems like something I would have said last time, but I don't know. And I'm not gonna go through a two hour video <sighs> to see if you did. You're enjoying the sound of ear splitting shrieks filling the air when suddenly an ear splitting shriek fills the air. <laughs> Disgusting! <gasps> you found her! Interesting turn of events. What is this abominable m what? <laughs> abominable nonsense. How dare you so much as how uh, how dare you so much as think such filth, much less write it, and much less put it on the internet. <laughs> Miranda, I honestly have no idea what you're upset about. I'm simply expressing myself through the noble art of fan fiction. <laughs> but writing a story about me, a noble and a beautiful mer princess in a forbidden romance with Nash Omahone? What? Son of the Prime Minister of the Air Kingdom? Kingdom? The Prime Minister, Zoe. I would never date anyone from a socialist nightmare escape with a Prime Minister. <laughs> but this has nothing to do with you. It's not said spooky high, it's said a creepy high, and the Mer Princess is named Mar Amanda Vanderbilt. That sounds nothing like Miranda Vanderbilt. They barely even end with the same four letters. <laughs> Look, she even has your smug fucking grin. <laughs> Mac ships me hardcore with the with the warlock bait. Cause you, dude, the past like month, all you've talked about is eldritch horrors, and there's one. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> and she's cute in a creepy way. She has an, a chest eye <laughs> and a head eye and two more head eyes. All eyes on her. Am I right? Yeah. God damn it. We See, Miranda, suck. You're nothing like Marmanda. She totally would have gone with the slander spoon. <laughs> I can't. I simply cannot stand by while my friend, classmate, and inferior publishes such a air people sympathizer nonsense. This all sounds like nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. This could get uglier than it actually is. Better step in and help a lady out. Which lady, though, is up to you. I like the first one, but it's not Hold my on. decision. Miranda's, Miranda's right. Oh my god. That's good wording. A better writer wouldn't even need to put something as disgusting as the air people into fanfiction. You know what? I'll, I'll go with it for now. We'll see how this goes. Dankenstein 2 is right. <laughs> Never forget the 2. Yep. It's important. And haven't you ever heard the phrase, don't shoot the messenger? Oh, certainly, yes. Loads of times. <laughs> She's playing it off by pretending she didn't actually do anything. It's Hold what, on. It's what all of Daddy's messengers say, right before he shoots them. <laughs> I know this gimmick. You pretend it's not your fault because you didn't actually do anything. You just blame <laughs> it on someone else. That's my strat. And not covered by Daddy's insurance. So tell me more about this devious Marmanda person and her relationship with Nash Omahone. What the fuck? As you can imagine, their love is inherently tragic and beautiful since they came from the Mer and Air Kingdoms, respectively. I describe it as a typical Starcross letter story with a large portion of hurt comfort tropes since it is set during the Mer Air War. <laughs> I don't know how I bang that up. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh god, I love that face! But fuck you, you dumped me. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> yes, yes, and where might I find this Marmanda so that I may execute, I mean, bring her to justice? Mm hmm. Oh, the usual places I've had met, you know, three. What? She's definitely real and probably hiding from you somewhere far, far away. Like a desert. Anywhere you won't interrupt my f interrupt my fic writing. Spoiler alert! You rock! Thanks for that, Dankenstein 2, Marmanda Vanderbunt. Maybe an extremely thinly veiled stand-in for Miranda, but she's my extremely thinly veiled stand-in for Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to continue her romantic adventures, and I hope you'll join me. You did it! By joiner, Zoe means read her fic, which you realize when she sends you a link and a reminder to review. But hey, she's sharing something she loves with you. Plus two creativity. And plus one charm. Oh god, I gotta level up creativity. Everybody chooses a food, say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Quiche. Hmm. Sushi. 
a powerful <laughs> energy drink whose key ingredient is the selected food. Start debating now. Hold on, I don't know anything about quiche. It's like a, it's like an egg cake thing. So it's a cake. It's like a breakfast cake, kinda. I don't um, know. For the sake of argument, I'm scared of whatever the hell that is. It's it's. If oh yeah, wanna, it's egg pie. If you want to put a picture of quiche on there, do it. But um, I'm so scared of that that I would run away from the energy drink, and it would give me more of an adrenaline boost than any other energy drink could. True, but imagine how imagine oh yeah, how powerful an energy drink. Imagine. Give me some time to pull something out of my ass. <laughs> I'm really good at <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Imagine... I think about how many weebs would just flock to, like, a bright pink Japanese can of energy drink that had sushi all over the front. And how many YouTubers would drink it for views. But Plus half the shit in sushi is fermented anyway, so it's got alcohol but in it. But those fat boys won't even be able to make it to your sushi drink without the energy from Quiche Lorraine... Oh. <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you points for trying there, bud. <laughs> yeah. Random it. The game knows. The game knows. The game knows. I guess right. quiche energy drink wins. <laughs> God damn it. I should at least say something I can argue for. <laughs> um, sure. Oops. Alright. Who you gonna sit with, champ? Oh uh, fuck. <laughs> That's an awful decision. Oh, uh, dude. It's the girl you want and the girl who don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all in the You watch Zoe watching Polly with, with increasing, increasing intensity. intensity. People watching is a strat of mine. What? <laughs> what is that? Hey, boo. That's her one tentacle. No. Why is she dressed like it's the 1920s? Why do you dress like it's the 1920s? Oh no. <laughs> she was made for you! <laughs> Someone's racially profiling me at this game's development. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> well, you know how you don't eat food. Yeah, duh, I'm a ghost. It would just go right through me. I can't digest it or absorb the nutrients or anything. Mm. Right, but you drink alcohol and do drugs all the time. Awesome, boo! Yeah, and it's awesome. But why can you absorb illicit substances and have them affect you if you can't eat food? It's like sometimes you're totally corporeal and then sometimes you're incorporeal and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, and it's awesome, uh -huh. but, but, but I'm awesome. And it, it is, is an interesting, interesting question Zoe raises. Maybe, maybe you should, should look at this more closely. closely. Throw things at Polly <laughs> and see what goes through her and what doesn't. Revenge! <laughs> Kill! <laughs> Kill! Kill! <laughs> the fucking waveform! <laughs> it's... Kill! <laughs> That's oh, rip headphone users. <laughs> no, it's not. No. <laughs> Throwing a fork in three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cut that out. Let's try a spoon. <laughs> Let's not try a spoon! <laughs> you bounced off her really? She was totally cr Hold on, I guess the lesson we learned here is that ghost logic is no logic at all. And that's why it rhymes. Ghost and no don't rhyme. <laughs> of course not, but there's no logic here. <laughs> Watch out, I'm throwing a plate at you. You and Zoe have a great time throwing things at Polly. And watching there be no logic in this game. The game, of course, being throw things at Polly. Wink. <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> Kill! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you approach Scott and Calculester sitting at the table, conveniently located near a power outlet. Calculester is charging. Scott is confused. What? Is Scott ever what do you mean confused? you just. It's the same thing! What do you mean you don't eat, bro? If you don't eat, how are you ever gonna get swole? <laughs> Premise invalid. I am a robot. Robots do not get swole. Swelling in robots is always an extremely bad sign. No eating? 
No getting swole? How do you live, bro? Technically, I do not live. It is one of my greatest sources of sadness. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't be sad, buddy. I know we'll chew you up. Some pizza. Pizza always cheers me up. Invalid suggestion. Pizza is food, which I do not eat. I am not designed to consume organic material. Only electricity. But... Does he but, have organs? But, he has tubes. They look like organs. I think that's the point. But... But... You're actually pretty worried that Scott's head is going to explode, and then you're going to have to clean it up. Better find a way to satisfy his curiosity. Scott, electricity is the coolest and most energetic thing to eat. Have you <laughs> ever tried to eat old A lightning? A lightning? <laughs> Tactilester, would you say I'm not designed to consume organic material? No, I want to go for. Oh, uh, uh, you're not going to peer pressure him into trying to eat? <laughs> no. <laughs> I want him to go to the prom with me, damn it. I thought you were going to help him come out of his shell. I will when we go to prom, but until then, I'm playing the game. <laughs> lightning? That. That loud, bright thing that comes out of the sky? I hate lightning! Woof! 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 <laughs> Look at his face! That's what happens when I fart in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Negative, Scott. That loud thing is called thunder. Oh, what's lightning then? The bright thing that comes out of the sky, without the noise. Great! Oh wow, noise-free lightning, just like a fat-free protein shake. <laughs> it sounds so energetic. I'll go eat some right now. Please do not. It's too late. Scott is already running around outside with his mouth open, staring at the sky. Good thing it's not raining or anything. Now you get to enjoy some alone time with Calculester. We just bully people. Let's trade places. Oh god. Everyone chooses a video game. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. It's something I can argue about. I can just say Soul Calibur. Snipper clips. My answer is There's poop in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's fucking do this. On how entertaining it would be if Shakespeare brought to life for this premise. And what fully... poop does yonder soup break? <laughs> Whether it is nobler in the mind to poop in the soup about <laughs> this fortune or to withstand the slings and shit of a of a sea of turmoils and to by withstand they grow stronger than them. I fucked up that entire quote. But to it's fine. snip or not to clip, that is, is the to question. Snip twice. <laughs> is to snip twice. Ho 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 ho. You see, not only do I know about poop in my suit, but I also know about Shakespeare. <laughs> you got me trumped on this. I know that one quote and snipper clips. You know what we say in times like this? What? Kill! <laughs> I think I know what I'm titling this episode. Kill! Dankenstein's Revenge. <laughs> Kill. Uh, you won. I, I can't compete with poop in my soup. <laughs> poop in my soup. Whether <laughs> it is nobler in the mind. Um, I know sure. the actual quote, but it would take Oh, uh, yo, cat, cat dude's in the library if you want to go cop some shite. I don't have a lot of money. And plus, the library is where you go to farm money. So, True. that would be a kind of a waste of a move. It would be. I'm gonna go to the auditorium. I haven't gone there ever. <laughs> well, that's cute. That, that day like... while researching for a class play, you do a terrific job at acting. Terrific? Okay, that's nice. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven that roses, to be that. exact. Okay, damn. Roses are not val valid currency or stat in this game. I just drag my finger from where my money is to the number next to it. Oh. Is that a coincidence? Probably not. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Mm -hmm. Seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet, you gain Farm plus it. two creativity. Farm it, buddy. What? Yo. I didn't expect to see you here. Don't you love how it's spooky? Hi, we have so many friends and you never know who's going to show up to... Gods. Here's the plan for today, girls. They were my guides in my last quest, but I failed them. I know. This really is Dankenstein's revenge. Their names are Joy, Hope, and Faith. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know our names? Yeah, she knows all dark knowledge. Of course. It's cool to see you guys. Say the thing. Say the thing. What thing? The thing. The thing. You know the thing. Say it. Say it. Say the thing. 
Oh god. What is going on? Say the thing! Hilda save the... Oh, okay. She wanted the catchphrase. <laughs> Remember when I was trapped in a totem? Remember that? And you guys were all, don't you understand what you brought from that shop? Your totem is the gore ruler of the Dark Realms and Angel. It and had this vision before. <laughs> who must dispose of the totem, totem before the world suffers. Yeah, sorry about that. No, are you kidding? That was awesome. And then someone stepped in and succeeded or failed at something I don't really remember. I've lived through so many events and things in my life, it's hard to keep them straight. But the point is it's all fine now. We're on the same team and I'm totally ready to join the coven. Join? As if she's not going to command and control Whoa, you. whoa, whoa. Don't get us wrong, it's nice for someone to appreciate how hard we work to keep the world safe instead of trying to belittle and or sabotage us, but you can't just... Whoa! Is this guy? <laughs> what? Put a shirt on, Romeo. <laughs> Jesus. Well, 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 look who it is. We meet again. Okay, so the, the what's the battlefield right now? We've got one Eldritch Horror in, in Rogue. Also, I love how the fucking We've war... Got... We've got fucking, um, Harkon here. <laughs> Three goths and a zombie. She's geeking out. <laughs> ah, Dimitri! Oh, oh god, my, oh. Ears, my ears are bleeding. Who are you? What are you? Why are you? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm z zo uh, I'm a totem. totem. I mean, I was a totem. I was a high school girl. No, I am a high school girl. Sorry. So, listen... I know most people are the Jummy Tree Wife, so they assume that the reason you often turn to the good side before bad again is because of your deep forbidden love for joy. Never! Joy means nothing to me at all. I feel nothing for her. I feel nothing. Ever. At all! A beautiful manly tear- I'm never coming here again. <laughs> A beautiful manly tear trickles down Dimitri's face as he stares into the distance. Don't you voice Zoe? Right, yeah, I know. I'm just trying to learn what the hell is going on with this sentence. Because there's just so many sounds that don't go together. I've been rooting for homie tree, as in you getting together with hope. Oh? Oh, Jummy tree was a yeah. ship name. Yeah. Fummy tree? I don't know. Like from my fanfic where you forced me to work in a where you're f where you're forced to work in a brothel. I am here for one reason and one reason only. Take from the coven their cursed bloodstone. I take no pleasure from seeing their smiling faces, and I will take no sorrow from seeing their corpses. Fine. Okay. Kill. I'm gonna defeat him. Kill. <laughs> You're not in the coven. But at that point, everything around Dimitri has caught fire somehow, and the deadly glow lights up his dark but very sexy smile. Time to find a way out of this while Zoe, whilst getting Zoe into the coven. Let's join the coven by being like the coven. We must defeat Dimitri the classic way, yelling cliche, powerful, heroic one-liners. We should all lick Dimitri's abs because of reasons. <laughs> also, I love the lore of Zoe is that she actually is an eldritch god who just and uses her omniscience to write fan fiction. No, that existence is her favorite anime. That's kind of rad, too. <laughs> I like people watching. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll bite. I'll bite until further notice. But I kind of want to click this one. Dude, it's your call. No, it's not Finn Balor. His abs are not that great. It does seem to be one of their most effective moves. That's so, so reductive of the hard work we, we do when we're saving the world. <laughs> you don't care. Most of the work they do interrupts those sweet, sweet prom shenanigans you engage in to try to woo one of your most charismatic classmates so you jump in with your best coven impression. Justice will triumph. We're here to save the world! Friends before fiends! Okay, those were actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, pretty good. As good is exactly what I intend to destroy, and I'm also very pretty. So there's that. Though your dark soul may try to snuff out our light, we will always like the match of truth and goodness. Ooh, I want to try it. Can I try it? Let me try Vile creatures of darkness. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and blood gushes forth, flooding the room. Oh, 
And here's another good one. <laughs> the swarm of oh, the classic scarabs line. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? No! My precious corporeal form! I shall not be eaten by bugs! Not today! These creatures will not consume my flesh. They're the way they have... The way my heart was once consumed by... No! It's in the past now! Never again! Darkness this is my calling! That was horrifying. <laughs> Horrifyingly awesome? No, just horrifying. Actually, yes. I guess you can be an honorary code member for today, at least. We won. We did it. And it's all <laughs> thanks to you, Dankenstein 2. It rhymes, so it's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't wait to have more Coven adventures. Wow, that might actually not be terrible, maybe. Did Zoe just make the Coven cool? For now, at least. You know what else is cool? Plus two charm and plus one fun. <laughs> that was a trip. <laughs> uh, darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Just puking your fucking your entire magical kit onto the enemy. Oh, is my knee in the way? Where would where would Calculester be? I feel like he'd be in the if library. He's in the gym. He's in the gym or in class. It's something really unfitting or really fitting. Uh because my smartness is already. I know when you go outdoors, it buffs your fun, and then bathrooms buffs your boldness. Gym buffs your... Gym? What does the fuck... I mean, we've never gone to the gym, I think. I think first time for everything. I don't have gone to the gym before, but I don't remember what it gets. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. This is the one that boosts your charm. Ah, everything seems are... lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're curly... Purely. You are clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. You spot Liam showing yes! some images on his phone. On the plus side, Lesky. Two, two of your classmates are interacting. Without your interference, unacceptable, unacceptable. You, you saunter over. over. My friends. I call this one mournful macaroni on polyurethane cafeteria tray. If I had to describe it, I'd say that it's haunting, challenging, and very artistic. <gasps> Adjectives acknowledged. Appreciating art. <laughs> well, if you appreciate that one, you'll really appreciate this one. <coughs> I think I got it. I call mm -hmm. it Pickled Beats, and it is obviously even more artistic than the last piece I showed you. Query. How much more artistic is image.jpg? Image2.jpg image relative to image1.jpg? Well, a lot more. Invalid quantity. quantity. Please provide a numerical value. <sighs> <laughs> I, I like love this. this guy. I like this dynamic here. <laughs> Um, because this guy's really emotional, and then this other guy doesn't emotions. Nope. Well, that's a ridiculous question. Everyone knows that art can't be objectively measured. Counterclaim. All things can be obje objectively measured. Temperature, altitude, smart, boldness, charm. <laughs> it seems like Calculester is going to list every single thing he can think of and or look up. That is pretty god- that's a pretty goddamn long list. Looks like you need to resolve this, but whose side are you on? There are certainly some things that can, can't can be measured, Calculester, like the admiration I feel for Liam. No! Fuck you! I can measure that. It's a zero. <laughs> what? No! Of course I have read that book! It was the first I was the first one who read it. I read a hundred- I read it a hundred times. A hundred, which is an objective number, just like art is objective! Hey, um, I gotta go real quick. Not to the library to go read that book or anything, just to, to space. space. I have to go to space for a concert. concert. A concert on an asteroid that you're not hidden, hip enough to know about. I think they bought it. Critical levels of awesomeness detected. Wow, you truly know a lot about measuring things. Allow me to show you my admiration by measuring you. Knowledge of measuring things, 9.6. Hair, dot, zero, 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 zero. Attractiveness. Error, stack, overflow. Subject is too hot. Processor, overheating. You rush Calculester to the cafeteria's meat locker to cool him down. The which, meat locker. Which gives you an opportunity to spend some quality time together. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. That's interesting. That weekend. Yee! Okay. Let's do this! Let's do this! You're out at the nightclub having a great time when suddenly you become actual, acutely aware of the inevitability of your own death. You think you're having an existential crisis, but it's actually just Zoe. <laughs> she coalesces around a murky soup of all of your darkest thoughts. It's cute. That's you. What's up, Red? Enjoying your weekend. That's cool, that's cool. 
Listen, I gotta ask you something about Dankenstein, too. You know, the one with the very nice butt and also probably a personality? <laughs> We've been hanging out for a couple weeks, and I gotta admit there's a spark there, but... Well, if I'm gonna shit myself with someone, I'm not gonna half-ass it, you know? <laughs> like, I'm gonna be, expect them to get all into the weird shit I'm a fan of. Magical girl... Magical girl anime, tentacle porn, the look on a man's face as his last shreds of sanity escape through his ears like wisps of screaming smoke. <laughs> Okay. I'm feeling kind of called out here. <laughs> Don't try to inhale energy drinks. <laughs> yeah, that's a no. It hurt. But I'm not, you know, selfish. I want to get into whatever Dankenstein 2 is in 2 2. Oh, hold up. <laughs> I gotta. I just want to know what I'm getting into as far as fandoms are concerned. I don't want to have to invest in like the Sonic the Hedgehog Space Jam mashups or... I think those are annoying too. Dude! Oh no. What's Dankenstein 2 a fan of? Do you know? Dankenstein has a huge collection of super cool bus driver trading cards. Dankenstein 2 has a huge collection of super lame bus driver trading cards. That's not helpful at all. <laughs> it's not. Oh no. What does Probably she think of bus drivers? Saying that they're cool is better than saying that they're lame. O -M -T. Yes. Bust. Is a bust a barrier too? Hi, <laughs> where are you going? I just got the word bust a in and introduced to my wife. I need to. I don't have anywhere to sit. That's somewhere else. <laughs> I was gonna say I need to sit down, but I was already a bust a farian. <laughs> Okay, glasses on. This is combat. <laughs> we'll have to compare collections. All of all of history's greatest bus drivers. Ephraim, Bus Driver Jewel, the Acid Rap Sensation, known as Bus Driver. <laughs> I tried to get a card signed by our school's very own bus driver, Otto Wolfman, but his hands are permanently glued to the wheel by a mommy's curse. Our biggest tattoo is a signed copy from back before Otto raided that tomb. I can't wait to ask. Thanks for the inside scoop, right? As a show of gratitude, take this. It's my spiciest bus driver training card. Zoe hands you what appears to be a photograph of a bus wearing a thong. <laughs> Juicy. You gain plus three charm. How do you even make that? <laughs> okay, everyone chooses a brand. Uh... Um... Fran definitely not frantically looking around the room. Okay, I, th I th say it out loud to the rest of the players what you got. Meow Mix? Nintendo. Player order is decided based on how intriguing it would be if the selected brand decided to produce their own TV One show. One of them actually did. Mine or yours? <laughs> did Meow Mix have a TV show? I mean, one of them had a TV show that doesn't exist anymore because people weren't interested in it. Which means a Meow Mix TV show would probably garner more views. And by the way, cat videos have been consistently the most popular thing on the internet since there was the internet. But you have to remember it's a TV show and old people watch TV and we chose cat videos and video games. And old people love cats. I am amazing. You're on fire, dude. No, you're on fire. <laughs> you're a zombie. If I was on fire, I'd... It would be bad. Um, sure. Alright. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, combat. <laughs> combat. This is a combat encounter. Library. What? Shh. Oh, he Jesus. Spent, he spent some time on the library. Just Lovecraftian prince needs your assistance. Sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. <laughs> it doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares, and you gain plus 2 money. You were going to help Zoe with her math homework after, but you notice her surrounded by a crowd of sinister cloaked figures, and she seems pissed off about it. Her followers! <laughs> I like their masks. <laughs> Guys, stop it! I don't want any dead goats I'm at school! We must commence the Ah, rituals. we understand you perfectly, Lord Zagord. It is a t this is a test. We must bring you even more dead goats to satisfy your dark hunger. 
What? No, that's the opposite of what I said. Don't go by Zagord anymore. I am Zoe, okay? Z-O-E. Can we take a rain check on that study session? Dankenstein, too? I can't stand to be around these jerks. Zoe brushes past you on her way out. The cultists stare at you okay. in unconcealed it's awe. Well, okay, it's concealed by a terrifying mask, but oh, still. Zagord addressed you by name, and you did not go mad with pleasure? Yeah, is this your first time doing this? I'm a veteran. It addressed, it addressed you almost as if you were an equal. It passed within inches of your frail mortal frame, and what's more, it mentioned rain. Could it be that, <laughs> that it was referring to the fabled storm of cerebrospinal fluid, which will one day come to quench all sanity? Jesus fucking Christ, do you not know this? No, you're the eldritch horror guy. <laughs> Brothers, sisters, bow down before Dankenstein too, for he is clearly the prophet of Zagord. Please, O oh prophet, guide our worship, for we have noticed of late that our lord appears dissatisfied with our sacrifices. The blood of many goats once pleased Zagord, and yet now we do not understand what has changed. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> I'll let you take over for a bit. Perhaps given our special relationship, right, your special relationship with our incomprehensible master, you could suggest a new sort of sacrifice that would please it. Eh, fuck it. You've got nothing better to do. You decide to be a prophet for the day. You tell them what they should really be sacrificing. Let's see. So sacrifice another goat, but right where sorry on the side. Sacrifice your own harmful prejudices. So blasphemous. But our harmful prejudices are precious to us. They're how we remain reliably unpleasant. The better to, to unplease Zagord. Maybe that's how it was with Zagord, you explained, but Zoe's a completely different set of standards that don't involve being a bigot. Ah. Uh, <laughs> your wisdom is truly <laughs> subtle and deep. Very well. Bring out the prejudices! One of the cultists steps forward with a steel banded box stained with blood and scorched by fire. Okay, good start. Uh huh. Are you sure not exactly the same? Smells pretty racist. <laughs> now bring out the vat of acid! We always carry it around. Where were they keeping all this stuff? Their robes must be really roomy. I like now dissolve the prejudices in acid! Go on! Do it! Kill! Kill! The box dissolves with a sound like a thousand grandmothers disapproving of your gender. I did! <laughs> I love this game! <laughs> we are suddenly unprotected from new and radical ideas. The revelations are flooding in. Could it be that we've been jerks? <laughs> Alas, it's true. It is true that our Lord demands from us for one further sacrifice. Oh my god, he's the greatest sacrifice of all. We must sacrifice the, the past. past. The name Zagord is gone, perished along with the dark timeline that gave it birth. And here now, we rededicate ourselves to a new cult. The cult of Zoe. Wow, well, that worked, worked way better than you expected. expected. Maybe you can dissolve the prejudices of other bigots in acid, too. Or maybe you can just dissolve the bigots in acid. Either way, you get plus two charm and a boldness. Way to go, dude. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just understand cult mentality. Let's see, creativity. They threw me a curveball, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> grab that shit out of midair. <laughs> Where do I go for creativity? Auditorium. But it's cut off right now. I'll go out first. Ooh. She's so hot! She's like, kind of thick. Yeah. She got some thighs. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal out this piece. That day during recess, you start a full half hour rave that goes half crazy. That goes full crazy. Shut up, I can't read. <laughs> Neither can I. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there is like one Spartan Legion. <laughs> Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences of the consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two. F I didn't want fun. We got it. I got it. You weren't getting. You see, fun. Calculuster de delicately applying water to one of his favorite little succulents with an eyedropper. He looks so peaceful until Lennon shows up with a smug grin on his shitty face. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not? <laughs> Crit. <laughs> Crit. Crit. <laughs> hey, Cal hey, Calculus, dude, what you doing? Water in your succulent? I bet you're thinking. I bet you think you're a true succulent fan, huh? 
If by fan you mean one who has a strong interest or admiration for a particular person or thing, then yes. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be such a succulent fan, name three of their albums. <laughs> Oof. I do not understand. <laughs> it's a trick question. Succulents don't have albums. A true fan would know that already. But I assure you, friend Leonard, I I feel the closest mechanical equivalent to love for my little plants. Love? Fandom isn't about love. It's about the one, the wanton accumulation of memorabilia. How many succulent posters do you have? Oh, I hate this guy. Zero. Just bow to him. Literally make him kill himself. That's what I thought. Meanwhile, I got 19. I've got more posters than I've got walls to hang them on. It looks like the only true succulent fan here is me. How do you like my voice? This is one of those annoying ass Nene Kappas from Smite. <laughs> I know. Hey! Why is this Nolan? <laughs> Ow. I'm sorry it had to be said. Crit! <laughs> well, I like the voice I gave him. I like the voice I gave both these guys. This claim is distressing, and yet I cannot disprove it. But you can. Time to let everybody know the ultimate standard for determining true succulent fan. A true succulent fan has every succulent, including the uncut versions. And there's at least one succulent signed by its creator, God. A true succulent fan would actually be a fan. Fuck you. Good lord. It makes so much sense. Fans are cool. Fans demonstrate a machine-like devotion to their chosen subject. Fans are literally called fans. Could it be that the ideal fan for in any medium is in fact just an actual fan? If your hypothesis is correct, I should remind you that my chassis contains <laughs> He's the 30, Omni fan. 36 individual fans for controlling CPU temperature. <laughs> 36? Nani? <laughs> but just one of those on its own would be the ultimate fan. 36 ultimate fans in one body is impossible! This is the exact moment in Dragon Ball where someone discovers how high the other guy's power level is, <laughs> and his is 36 fans. There's no way your stand lets you do that. <laughs> I assure you it is quite possible. In fact, it is necessary. Without the fans inside, my insides would quickly melt. I do feel that my many fandoms keep me from melting alive. You and I are so much alike, Calculester. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yes, we are both so Bye -bye. bipedal. GG. Finally, someone who truly understands me. You're not sure you'll ever understand Leonard, but at least he's not trolling Calculester anymore. You gain plus two creativity and plus one charm. Trade places. There's no way I can win again. Choose a song. Kung Fu Fighting. Big Up by Wanima. Player order decided on how much more patriotic you would feel if the song came on the new anthem. <laughs> Dude. What's more American than racial stereotyping an entire people based on two words? <laughs> What's more... But dude... Big Up? I don't know if you ever heard Big Up. It's a, it's a Japanese song by a rock band. It sounds like an anime theme. And then I remember one time uh, Brandon was like, You don't even know what the song's about. It could be about how Hitler was right and you'd never know. Guess what the song's about? How Hitler was right. Nope, it's about following your dreams and never giving up, and the entire music video is just thick bitches. Okay. Kung Fu Fighting has a bunch of Chinese people throwing sick kicks, and it's about how you can be whatever you want to be. If you work hard enough. And you know what the American dream is? That you can be whatever you be if you work hard enough. I but rest my case. <laughs> but it's all, the American dream is also about never giving up, following your dreams, and thick booty bitches. You know what? The game knows. The, the game, game knows. The game knows what's up. Boom. That's fair. That's fair. You know, I respect it. I respect it today. <laughs> I thought I was going to bring it all the way home. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Where's Calcu Lester? Oh no, I have to hang out with Dog Boy. It's your turn. Friend Damien, I'm having trouble getting a positive ID on the objects in your possession. 
Would you declare their components? Sure thing, Robro. Uh, what I have here is a can of gasoline, a lighter, <laughs> and a grim and a grin of a madman about to set a cafeteria table on fire. I comprehend now. It would seem that the most logical extrapolation is that you are about to set a cafeteria table on fire. Damn, Calculester, how much plus smarts do you have to figure that mystery out? My intelligence cannot be calculated using your overly simplistic methods. However, my morality module indicates that setting a cafeteria table on fire is not within the bounds of acceptable school behavior. In fact, it seems to me my metaphorical but not literal heart is that it is not nice. Huh? Did I say that it was going to be nice? No! I said it was going to be awesome! Running back conversation to check the phrase, gonna be awesome. Error. Phrase not found. No, friend Damien, you never said it was going to be awesome. Calculesters, clap traps, older brother, clap cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for reference, Keith already made that joke once today. About Pathfinder from Apex, and I stole it from Francis Blaney, <laughs> who watches these. What? I think. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Gets baked as fuck and watches our shit for three hours. I mean, nice, nice dedication, bro. You got content. Also, <laughs> shout out to the Blaney boys. Oh yeah, shout out to everyone. I really want to know who the fuck watches our content because I don't know. If you watch our content, sound off in the comments, please. Or don't. Or don't. Do what you want. Yeah, it's a free country. But you know, it isn't a free country. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. You're just supposed to oh. get A and hope that the next sentence oh. answers the question. Oh, fuck. I didn't read the last paragraph, you did. All right. It's a matter of perspective, Calculester. Where you see a table, Damien sees a wood to set a flame to cook his food. So Damien is totally in the right. No. Calculester's in the right, Damien. Be responsible and don't set fire to this table. Set fire to the cafeteria table designed for arson. Or designated for arson. You know the green one by the door, which, in case of needing to set on fire table... What the fuck? Is there a table for that? Yes, friend Damien. Friend Red is correct. We must always obey the rules. The rules of Asimov, the rules of Spooky High, the rules of the universe, all with it, all with all of its structure and order. Ah, fuck structure and order! Fuck Asimov and Spooky High! And fuck the universe! Stupid universe making things like tables you're not supposed to set fire to! But Damien, rules- I'm out here trying to fuck the universe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but David, rules are here for a reason. All things are here for a reason. They're designed like the de the designated arson table. The reason the designated arson table is there is so that you can commit arson. I don't want to commit arson that follows the rules. I want to commit arson that sets the rules on fire. But friend Damien, if you set this table on fire, surely Crazy Martian, the Werebear Janitor, will give you detention, and you will set nothing more on fire for the day. Whereas if you set the arson table on fire, you may feel free to set more things on fire for the duration of the day and every day. <laughs> Dope. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Friend Red, for helping me talk sense into Damien. I think we did a good deed here today. Dope. That was a great line. <laughs> it was four letters. Dope. Dope. <laughs> a good deed at Spooky High? Perish the thought. Um, sure. Okay, watch this. I have to go hang out with Dog Boy. But I get to sit at the table that has pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Scott and Zoe are having marshmallows for lunch. You say that because the cafeteria table is covered in a literal mountain of marshmallows. And Zoe slams a marshmallow into her mouth. It's mildly impressive. Fifteen. Six marshmallows. It's slightly more impressive. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, I'm at two, two, you know, three. I think I'm king of Milo. I didn't have to do this, but you leave me no choice, rival. Oh god. And convulse her tentacles swell. Kill! <laughs> you smell death itself. <laughs> oh god. Ancient chaos, doomed to world sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> A cloud of marshmallows will rise up into the air and Zoe's countless mouths, mouths. All open with an infinite hunger. All the mellows fly into Zoe's gaping maw. The cafeteria's <laughs> windows open as all marshmallows in a 50-mile radius are summoned to their doom. 
It's unspeakably impressive. If I count it correctly, I've now eaten 13,666 marshmallows. Exactly, which means I win. Good number. Yeah. Sign of a beast. And a 13. Ah, cool. Wait, that is like very not cool. You can't use more than one mouth during an eating contest. It's cheating. And I would know because I used my hands at soccer one time and I still feel bad about it. Aw! Uh, I didn't cheat. The validity of this impromptu marshmallow match is the whole reason I is my whole reason to win. And my whole reason to not destroy this amazing marshmallow filled planet. Fucking beerus. <laughs> Quick referee is this athletic dispute before the whole planet is destroyed. We can't control how many mouths we have. That's not nice. Scott, are you a good boy or not? No. Top one is the obvious one. <laughs> yeah. But the bottom one is way more interesting. Scott, play smart and be creative. You don't have any other holes you could use. Oh, no. I'm not going to click it. All right. I really want to. But I'm strong. <laughs> and I'm out here for this dub. Mm. Scott's eyes widen in primal fear. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zoe. I want to be a good boy. I want to not be a not a good boy. Wait, Scott, who's a good boy again? It's me, Scott. Who's a good boy? Me. Then I guess I'm the winner. Now it's an all. <laughs> they have won the marshmallow battle, but you'll win the marshmallow prom date demon friendship war. <laughs> Your legend unfolds. Everybody chooses a fictional character, say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Finn Mertens from Adventure Time. Is that his name Mertens? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> you gotta watch the show. But if you're playing Finn, I'm gonna play, uh, Peter Griffin. <laughs> Ooh! Player order will decide <laughs> how weird yet amusing it would be to receive an oral... Now, if we're going off of... Cartoon fighter logic. I just want to say, mm -hmm. Peter Griffin has that Brian Griffin assist. But, but you have the Jake, Jake assist, and Jake is elastic. But Brian can. T Brian has a way nicer voice. <laughs> True, but guess what? And I'm going to be super gross, but clinch the win. Finn's got less teeth. Peter Griffin has a butt chin. But Jake. But guess what? What? After Peter Griffin sucks your dick. <laughs> what? Hear me out. Okay. There's gonna be an episode of Family Guy where he's like, "Wow, this reminds me of the time I sucked Keith Allen's dick because of a fight because of a video game meme." <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like one of those cutaways that you see on television, but this is a video game, so it'll be interactive. Oh man. Hey, Peter, why are you sucking a miner's dick? God damn it, Wallace. <laughs> I'm trying to get points here. Plus, the age gap with Finn is different. And again, there's magic involved. Plus, he's got a robot hand that vibrates and whirls and spins and does other shit. There was an episode where Peter ran an entire city using Twinkies to power the economy. And there was an episode... Oh man, we're going Family Guy versus Adventure, <laughs> Adventure Time. Time. Strap in. All right. I don't remember shit. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast portion of the episode. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> so what does what does running a whole town with Twinkies have to do with Peter Griffin's blowjob? Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. <laughs> Finn will come at you live from the Steve Austin Show podcast. <laughs> Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin Tyler McElroy. Let's see. I just want to hit the random button. <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to argue about this. Hit the random button, please. Okay. I think That's I'm... better, because my guy's like 13. <laughs> At least I picked an adult. Come on. Okay. Um, so sure. where have I been and where can I go? I've been to the bathroom, I've been to the... I haven't been to the gym, but I've been... I haven't been to class... I'm, I'm not gonna go to class at night. Let's hang out here. Start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. 
At one point, one, the small, magical Latino cat slips on a banana peel and you laugh at him. He asks you to stop, but you don't. <laughs> you don't. You laugh so hard that you steal too fun from him. Spot Zoe and say hello. She seems to be in a pretty good mood. What the fuck am I looking at? She's wearing an anime shirt. I don't know if I like where this is going anymore. Sorry about running out on you before. I was just overwhelmed by all that cult stuff. Speaking of them, they've actually been a lot better lately. They're still pretty clueless, but at least they haven't given me any more dead animals. I wonder what's gotten into them. Well, better not. Gee, mess, mess with, with success. success. Anyway, I gotta go study for my ambush finance midterms. Did you notice our cultist peeking around a corner? When she's just gone, they sheepishly approach you. Okay, these well, are my women. Hey, hey Dankenstein's who? Praise, praise be to you for your unholy wisdom and stuff. We were just wondering, did Zoe say anything about us? Does she like all the dead goats we're not giving her? Are we using the right pronouns? We just, we all love her so much and we want to make sure she's happy or unhappy or ruthlessly insane as she can possibly be. I love her the most of all. Who said that? Whoever you are, you can't possibly love her more than I do. I'm the one standing at the front. I was standing in front last time, and we all took the same because we're all wearing masks. <laughs> oh. Silence. You can't <laughs> silence, silence me. You're, you're not, not my grandmaster. grandmaster. Well, well, someone is, right? I mean, we have a grandmaster, don't we? What kind of cult would we be without a grandmaster? Yeah. They're fighting over who gets to be the grandmaster. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, do we? Well, that won't do. Please, Dankins, I do grace us with your wisdom. How shall we choose our grandmaster? You need to learn to think like your mistress. Become a high school student for a day, and then answer will be obvious to you. The title of Grand Master go to whoever can compose the best theme song to sing to Zoe every morning, as if it's a new episode of her life. No, because the second one would annoy the show. Yeah. Not so fun. Oh. Oh. Bad play. Shit. No, no. If this is what Zoe's prophet suggests, then it must be done. Comrades, bring forth the thousand needles. Mm-hmm. Uh. What? Let the union of the flesh begin. No, no, no. This is not good at all. And yet you cannot look away as the cultists so what? their pale flesh. Oh, uh, what are they doing now? We are oh. a high school student screamed the mutilated cultist in unison. We care about good grades and the status of our facial skin. They got a good patch of cult and they go and sew their bodies to not each other. Time. I didn't do it. You are not pleased, mistress. Worst cultist ever. This always storms off. Looks like you're the worst prophet ever. Let's do this! Misplay. Damn. Misclick. Shit! Shit! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Kill! <laughs> I'm gonna have a field day editing this. Alright, uh... What's my lowest stat? I got sevens in boldness, creativity, and money. I'm gonna go to the library to obtain money. <laughs> I do spend some time on the library's PCs mining some bitcoins. <laughs> this is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and and rise the, the cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to two million dollars. Which unfortunately equals two monster dollars, so plus two money. Yeah. yeah. God damn, I make a lot of money doing anything. You notice Calculester connected to another computer by many wires. You worry it might be a weird sex thing that could preclude you from doing weird sex things to him, so you decide to interrupt. Hello. Ah, hello, friend Red. Pardon the mess. I am currently engaging in a rather <laughs> delicate project. What project, do you ask? Oh, the creation of a virtual reality. <laughs> my studies indicate that the best way to improve my understanding of an organic life is to simulate an entire universe full of it and observe the results. Dang. You were really hoping it... <laughs> He decided that the best way of understanding organic life was to get naked with you. Maybe you can still salvage this, though. Please, join me in my virtual world and I will show you around. Now that's more like it. Alone in a virtual world with Cal? You wonder uh, what sort of sexy body he's cooked up for himself there. You put on a headset. Hello, and welcome to virtual reality. As you can see, I have already implemented real-time character rendering, sports clothes, and realistic physics. I am beginning to worry, however, that my physics may be a bit too realistic. Liam is perpetually discussing art and creativity, and <laughs> it has caused me to wonder. 
Should I merely be using the physics of the existing world, or should I innovate? He's gonna recreate the world in his own image. <laughs> you tell him you should innovate because that's because that way you can tell him of all of your stupid physics ideas first and foremost. Bad artists copy, good artists steal. Specifically, you should steal the physics engine from the award-winning mobile game Angry Birds. You just need to spruce up the originals a bit. How about Calculuster's first law of thermodynamics? Energy can either be created nor destroyed, but after a little while, it can turn into a ravioli? That's red. <laughs> Those are both red. I know, which... I don't know. I can't help. All right. I've got nothing. Uh, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to say that my gut says bottom, but I'm not going to actually say anything. I didn't officially say anything. Critical levels of yes! Detected. Truly, your brilliance, Bela, is the innate fa fallibility of your organic brain. Of course. By converting this reality into two dimensions and making the get shot out of a cannon only visible viable means of transport, I can greatly reduce processor requirements. Also, everything should explode on impact, and additional lives will be available via an in-app purchases. <laughs> Truly, with the addition of these common sense changes, my virtual reality will be even more real than reality itself. Two-dimensional people, constant explosions, rich people living longer than everyone else, sounds like reality to you. You gain plus two smarts and plus one charm. Quarter time? Oh, we're at like half an hour. Uh, we're engaged in the usual weekend routine of watching fish have sex at the aquarium when we run into Calculuster. I was just attempting to gain insight into the courtship rituals of organic life forms. What about you? Same. Same. You say awkwardly because you don't want anyone knowing that you spend all your weekends watching fish fuck. <laughs> Keith? <laughs> Well, designate this chance meeting fortuitous. You see, I'm currently running a romantic subroutine with your friend, Red. You have a subroutine? Damn. Damn. Things appear to be going well, but I'm experiencing what I believe may be doubts. Fuck you. I do not wish to waste processing cycles on an unproductive onion. Union. <laughs> onion? <laughs> Who you call it a fucking onion? Union. <laughs> Therefore, I must ask, is Red open to copulating with a mechanical life? Oh. Move your knee, you son of a bitch! You wanna know if Red is DTF? Well, let me tell you. One time I went over to Red's house on an ass and found him a vacuum cleaner with googly eyes and a wig. And well, let's just say the answer to your question is yes. Don't. Thank you. I didn't even read the other one, but I bet it was pretty cool. She informed me recently that a certain organic life form had rocked her world, but would not divulge the name of said paramour. I believe she was worried I would steal her conquest, but now I know it was Red. Suck it, Vicky. <laughs> Who's Vicky? I don't know. This pun is the pun is totally lost on Calculuster. He's too busy being horny. Versus I'll find Red and you gain plus three fun for a good dude. My stats are awful. I hate them. Look at those numbers. <laughs> I mean, they're not. It's not they're the horrible. actual value of them. It's the fact that there's three eights and three nines. <laughs> I've gone beyond gods. <laughs> Choose a place. New York. Tops. How hilarious it would be if the Huns were <laughs> once again trying to conquer the world, and due to the ignorance about the present time, they prioritize conquering this place because their shirt holds great strategic value. Listen, New York <laughs> has strategic value. The other one's a, a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also strategic because they'd attack every Tops, because you just said Tops. So they'd attack every tops and sort of like pepper their forces all over the northeast <laughs> <laughs> and that's it <laughs> and there'll just be other grocery stores <laughs> and they just run out of food and bags <laughs> if they get new york it's over if they get tops it's annoying <laughs> barely click it <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Um, <laughs> you just keep true. winning these. God damn it. Let's go to class. It's <laughs> you're too good at bullshit. If I go to the library, I can get $10 and maybe I can get something during the. Oh yeah, I might want to buy items. <laughs> I'm gonna play the library. 
Who cares? I made money. <laughs> Nine forward. Cute little chibi character is getting eaten by some nightmare fluid. <laughs> Hey, your art's not bad for a girl. I, I might have a major opportunity for you. Oh, cool. As much as I hate your casual sexism, I love opportunities. What's up? I'm looking for someone to do a custom drawing for my YouTube channel. It'll be me, but with sunglasses, and my muscles are huge, and you can tell from my facial hair that I'm right about everything. Mm. Yeah, I could probably do that. No guarantee that it won't drive your viewers insane, though. <laughs> they, if they go insane, then they weren't true fans to begin with. <laughs> Great, let's talk a little bit more about you and then we can negotiate a price for the commission. Excuse me? Price? Exposure to my 284 YouTube subscribers isn't good enough for you? What? No. Wow, typical. Here I am trying to give you the opportunity of a lifetime and you <laughs> can't think. Did you hear me when I said how many subscribers I have? 284! Kill! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> I know I'm just stupid. Who no. else is stupid? <laughs> God damn it, put your knee down, I can't read. <laughs> That's just right now. Maybe by the end of this weekend it could be 285 or 286, and from there just a few or orders of magnitude until I hit 600! A real savvy artist would understand the value of getting in good with me while I'm still on the rise. This could be huge for you. I feel this on an artist level. Anyway, TLDR, no cash right now. <coughs> I have to my craft in the hopes of someday becoming a YouTube sensation. <laughs> if you're an artist, do it for the love of art or whatever dumb fucking reason artists have for doing art shit. Fuck you. Fuck this guy. I hate this guy. Me too. But I also love voicing him. Yeah, you can feel the air on Zoe turning into pink tentacles of wrath. Uh-oh. If you can't broker a deal between these two, who knows what will happen in reality. Maybe you can convince Leonard to pay us something other than money. Wow, even even her head eye looks very disinterested. Why don't you pay with one of your kidneys? <laughs> Deal suckers! Everyone knows YouTube stars don't need internal organs. They film, they film from the chest up so no one can see how much of them is missing. All a YouTuber really needs is a face, vocal cords, and some pretty nice teeth. Everything else is just weighing me down. You don't have teeth. You don't have great vocal cords. <laughs> but that's my fault. <laughs> oh no, that's just his voice. Wow. He'll take both. He'll take both my kidneys. I won't need them when I'm famous. You know some things that you can hear by looking at them? Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard rips out his kidneys and hands them to you. He's so excited for his free art. You offer to sell them to a guy who knows on Zoe's behalf, but kidneys are worth way more than whatever he said he'd normally pay for her art. Mm -hmm. I think I'll actually just use these to grow a tiny effigy of Lionel that I can torment in the pain dimension for all eternity. I call it 4D fanfic. Savage. Savage. <laughs> Join in on tournament gaming plus two fun. And plus one creative. It got more annoying! <laughs> <laughs> How? I don't know. Two eights, two nines, what's and two the, elevens. What's the word? I, I'm a, um, starts with like KILL! <laughs> Let's do this! That's me. Alright. I just want to set the most aesthetically annoying. Oh, what's my money? My money's nine. I'm gonna see what I can get from the store. What is that? Shouldn't right. you be out there trying to romance classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. Okay, what's here? This, let's see. A uh, fake badass tattoo. It had flames and a skull street cred plus 9,000. Uh, no, I need more. Oh, yeah, I forgot these, like, raise your shit. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what do I need most in the world? Hmm. What makes me more smart? A sexy flake, fake Latin accent? Hype station. A PR agent. <laughs> High school social life is hard nowadays. Hiring a PR agent, that's awesome. A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as life, love, and death. Will that be creativity or I'm trying to get more smarts. So Calculester will think of more of me. A 
tampon used by the former prom queen. Oh yeah. Don't even dare ask me how I got this. Jesus. Ugh. Uh, what's this? The gift that keeps on giving. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given. Yeah. Is it I AIDS? I feel like it's a trap because it, it doesn't, doesn't cost, cost anything. anything. I uh, wanna know. Me too. Rock, paper, scissors, see who has to buy the gift that keeps shit. <laughs> Keith did the no ghost thing while I was discussing rock, paper, scissors. Shit, looks yeah, like I'm buying the fun. gift. I wanna know what's inside it. <laughs> I have 29 charm. <laughs> Suck my jingle bells. <laughs> That's Natty. <laughs> Dude, it slaughtered your boldness. I don't care. I don't need boldness to get on the computer. He chooses an object. <laughs> my suck my jingle bell sweater. Your suck your jingle bell sweater. <laughs> Players on how shitty it would be if you were forced to eat this an object. No, my 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 bolt, my charm would go down, and my boldness would still here's, be shit. Here's the game. Here's how I rate this, right? Mm -hmm. On one end, you have to eat something that belongs to you, and you lose it. I eat something that belongs to you, you lose something, and I have full belly. <laughs> but you also ate a fucking sweater. It would be. It said. Look, it said how shitty it would be to eat it. You described how it would be good for you. If I, I eat the sweater, I'm I lose you it. Win. <laughs> Yay. Always going to battle plan with two excuses. This um, fucking sweater. Let's do this! Let's do this! What the fuck is at my table? <laughs> I think it's an orc. <laughs> an ogre. An oni. I don't like him. He scares me. <laughs> but he's sitting with your eldritch princess. You have to hang out with Scott. <laughs> I love Scott. What are you talking about? <laughs> he's the goodest boy. I feel like he smells bad. <laughs> Of course, he smells like wet dog. He smells like dog, period. <laughs> when you arrive at... Not to be confused with dog, period. Oh, ew! You... Uh... Dude, that's actually gross! <laughs> Time out, T.O. T.O. The fuck? That's nasty. That's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd I put my bottle? It's here. When you're left at Scott and Calculester's table, Scott isn't there. He comes back when you sit down and clearly Clean. delighted. Oh man, everybody's butts smell great today. It's like a, bo a bouquet of butts. A butt K. Shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> And look at this, Red's here too. Hey Red, I bet you also have a butt for me to sn- oh. Scott, I don't like you to terminate your current course of action. <laughs> What? <laughs> Translating previous utterance into Scott relatable format. One moment, please. Scott, smelling butts equals bad. <laughs> but how can smelling butts be bad when smelling butts is good? It is not good. It is bad. See also uncouth, inva invasive, and totally nasty. Uh, um, uh, but, 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 but. <laughs> Either Scott is malfunctioning, or he's been distracted by some fun new butts. Either way, you need to find a way to resolve this dispute. Now, you don't understand Calculester. You use complex analytical software to understand your surroundings. Scott's complex analytical software is smelling butts. Calculester is right, Scott. You've got to be more polite and respect people's privacy. Well, that... Why not present them with an official form requesting a butt smelling? <laughs> yes. Touchdown! Touchdown! Fuck that. <laughs> oh, oh, I already have one of those. He's such a chat. He has a form of formal consent. Oh my god. Just got into a piece of purple construction paper that has that he's written on it. Can I smell your butt? Y-N. Mm -hmm. This is not a legally sound document. Allow me to assist. Calculus to print out 500 copies of a very official looking bureaucratic form and hands them to Scott. He's clearly put some thought into this. <laughs> form A55, anal or form S. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, and I didn't notice it. <laughs> Anery Old Factory Rendezvous request. Wow. It's even got a seal from the Bureau of Unilateral Tush Tasting. 
Scott is Nick. <laughs> yeah, he eats ass. Do you see now, friend Scott? Bureaucracy can be fun. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass these out to everybody! <laughs> With Scott gone, Calculester prints out a single copy of a different form uh, and hands it to you. It's form ILU6969, Romance ex ex Escalation Consent Request. Nice. Um, sure. I guess I'm going to battle. Go for it. With three other dudes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. When you get to Damien and Zoe's table, you find yourself hanging out with pretty demons, eldritch horrors, and orcs. Yep. And it's not even Tuesday yet. <laughs> Dahlia and Da- What? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Nani? Zoe is staring excitedly at the two of them, phone out, ready to phone. MRT. Oh my god. Oh my lord. What? Is this it? The final showdown between Stony Blue, Nightmare Dahlia, and Spicy Red Baby Damien? Is today the day the Aquinos finally claimed the 8th circle of hell? Alright guys, I've got my phone camera ready and you're rolling. You can start the bloodbath whenever you're ready. Uh, I can hmm. this fight. I want to watch the wrestling match. Fun <laughs> too. Every second now. Go get a life! Give us a fucking break, bro. You, you, oh, wait. We're not going to solve the centuries-old dispute between our families in this cafeteria. It's anticlimactic. He's got the kanji of fire. Yeah, I'm just sitting here because Damien's so scrawny and insignificant. I didn't notice him before I sat down. I'm just sitting here because fuck you! Yeah. For, <laughs> for the last time, it's not dramatically appropriate. If you romance Damien, can you see the fight? Can you? I don't know. Can, do you have the ability to romance whoever this, whoever this is? Clearly not, because they run in the intro. Damn it! So he does not respond. Fuck you, developers! He wordless and slides two knives across the table and waits patiently. <laughs> so what's your play here? Are you convinced in the fight or convinced Zoe that there's something even juicier going on? Well, you know what they say, if you're not fighting someone to the death, it's usually because you have you secretly have sexy feelings for them. Look, I know you guys can't actually fight for the eight circle right now, but you must want to fuck each other up at least a little bit. How about a thumb war over this? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Number Ooh. one, I don't have feelings. Number two, if I did, none of them would be secret sexy feelings for this blue raspberry crap cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a good laugh. Yeah, <laughs> blue raspberry crap cock. <laughs> I'm even angrier than Damien, than Damien about your inaccurate assumption. This is another way in which I am superior to him. <laughs> I'll kill you for this <laughs> later, because right now I need lunch, and lunch is not the time for a climactic slaughter. <laughs> Only regular slaughter. <laughs> the words don't fool me. I can see the sexual chemistry bubbling below the surface like a river of boiling blood, and it's adorable. <laughs> Dankenstein too. I notice you haven't tried to fight me to the death either, if you know what I mean. You're pretty sure you do, and you're all about it. Oh. Everybody chooses yes. a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. The Iron Giant. Because I know everything about that movie. Gladiator. On how weird the fan looks like we would be. Now, neither of these shows would have particularly weird fandoms. Dude, you don't even know. You know how many people want the Iron Giant to fuck Hogarth's mom? It's an unsettling number. Do you know why Gladiator's good? Why? It's the only dude movie with enough of a romantic subplot that they can trick their girlfriends into seeing it. <laughs> but that's not a weird fandom. So, Mine's um, a weird fandom. Yeah, I'm just gonna forfeit that one. I can't... <laughs> if it was anything else, I might have been able to pull ahead. But robots fucking Hogarth's mom, this. that's fucking weird, right? Yeah. You're up, you're up 29, Charm King. Jesus fucking Christ with my sweater of ultimate power. What is that sweater? <laughs> what is it made of? It's made of jingle bell energy. It's made of fucking dictonium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, my fun and my creativity is down. Where do I go for fun? I go outside. Yeah, my fun is dog shit. Outdoors. That day recess recesses a half hour. It goes full crazy. Everything's fine until Juan the Small- Oh. Oh, thinks what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember? You suck at dancing. 
but you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance parent. It's called the Groovy Musaka. Musaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Musaka together. It's a party, remember? And you gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. And it looks like Calculus is off by himself again, working on his VR. You don't even know how he's able to shirk so many school responsibilities to work on this project. Then again, you shirk responsibilities all the time to try to fuck your classmates, so... Yeah. As you approach, you notice the air around him is several degrees warmer than usual. He must be pretty worried about something. Hello, friend Red. I'm worried about something. Nailed it. <laughs> I was pro... I was progressing well enough on in my virtual world. Intelligent life evolved, developed language and society, and kept senseless violence <laughs> within standard, standard parameters. Problems. It was going so well, in fact, that I decided to enter the virtual reality myself and conduct a UX poll. Instead of providing me useful feedback, however, the citizens of this world provided me with dead goats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently, as their creator, I command certain un anticipated level of awe and respect. I am embarrassingly enough a god to them. They have since designated me uh, the day of my appearance as a holy day constructed with an enormous and upsettingly phallic tower of, on the spot and are currently murdering each other for control of said tower. Senseless violence has spiked while outside of, ex of the acceptable range. Mm -hmm. And now instead of pro improving their virtual society, the people are spending all their time putting my face on various merchandise and co-opting popular music genres to sing my praises. So the dark gods only talk to people who are too lazy to start a fight. <laughs> yes. I'm, really? I must devise a way to cure them of this unhealthy obsession. When I tried telling them to stop, I, all I did was spark a holy war. What do I do? Involve your highest rank worshippers in a controversial scandal with minors. Produce a little grumpy... N I don't have a translation, but it's pronounced Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Probably. Produce a little grumpy Nietzsche. I think that means make a Hitler. Oh god, your options are Hitler and Catholic priests. Fuck. Hitler's funnier. <laughs> All right. They're not good. Not good options. I'm just going to close my eyes and... Okay. Mm. Shit. Hmm. A controversial scandal with minors. Where on earth did you get that idea? Well, I suppose it could work, but first I'll have to invent minors. Wait, does Calculester know what minors are? Of course I know what... You just listen to the narrator. Of course I know what minors are. They are non-adult organisms defined by law. I omitted childhood from my initial designs because it seemed impractical. Mm. But if it's the first way to nip this worship in the bud, I suppose I must patch reality to include them. Three minutes later. My reality was destroyed. The children destroyed it. <laughs> Perhaps it is my fault for creating a large room in the center of my most populated city that would explode if anyone screamed, cried, or urinated inside of it. Yes, one trillion lives have been extinguished, and it's all my fault. Oh, oh geez. geez. I realize it's actually your fault. No! Um, sure. Fucked up the simulation! I killed the simulation! Kill! But I'm not happy about it this time. You shouldn't be. You fucked up really bad, Chief. And uh, we begin as we end. In the bathroom. On the toilet. <laughs> Take a number two. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. Thing is, make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. <gasps> Look at you, you crazy bastard. With a slight chance. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. She cruised up on me. Aren't you so excited about the con coming up? Yeah, the con con. I know what you're thinking. Which con con? Con con, the condiments convention? Con con, the con artist convention? Nope, it's con con, the convention convention for ultimate fans. And I thought maybe we could be ultimate fans together. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, and sorry, this is too soon to ask, I mean, it's hard to determine the relative appropriateness of brief intervals of time when you've been around in various forms for millennia. 
But would you want to do a couple cosplay with me? I mean, if you can think of one good enough pairing. What? Okay, hell yeah you would. And you're on the most perfect cosplay ever, you suggest. The neoliberal system and the unbearable <laughs> feeling of voice. <laughs> Naruto and Garfield. <laughs> mm, hold up before you pick. I gotta stop the recording and restart it. <laughs> Shit, we should end the episode on that. <laughs> we gotta finish it. <sighs> I... <sighs> One's anime and I'm the other not. one's eldritch, and she's both. I'm not high enough to know the answer. Is it's do my strat. Close your eyes, click the buttons a bunch, and whatever it lands on. Damn did it. you pick Naruto and Garfield? I didn't. We're feeling a void that no material good can fill, or the neoliberal system. Blah, 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 blah. Or I guess my all-time favorite, even more than. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the neoliberal system in Naruto. In fact, I think the Larry the Lich. <laughs> what? Larry the Lich? Since you. Uh oh, I think I just lost. We both fucked up. Here goes nothing. Money My name is the is power move, list. isn't it? Ask Calculester to prom. Here you go. Get your horror. <laughs> Is that a pun? Was it? I don't know. Your horror. Oh shit. For the sake of comedy, yes. Dankenstein's revenge. <laughs> don't go alone. We put too much into this. <laughs> Zoe. Claim your destiny and fuck a hey. god. <laughs> Let's do this! You know how my brain works. Yes! <laughs> you finally plug up the courage to ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Red. I have stored countless images of you failing again and again. You failed. In my memory RAM. And I have quite a lot of memory RAM, in fact, and yet your failures have taken like a third of it. I have made a silly loop of the footage with lo-fi hip-hop playing in the background to make it less depressing. Is this what people call I am not sure main? what is required to succeed at prom. <sighs> Whatever it is, it cannot be achieved by partnering with you. Sorry, friend Red. Error! 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 Failing at monster prom broke the essential process of growing up in your life. You became fixated on it and never became a functional adult. Now you're just an old person that sits too. at parks. Dankenstein's Revenge. We have to keep going. <laughs> we can't call it Dankenstein's Revenge if we fail. <laughs> <laughs> and it, um, uh, it's weird and sad as it sounds. Um, sure. It's not Dankenstein's Revenge if I Here fail. Here you go. O M G. <laughs> Did you? This is a fanfic Get come eight. true! <laughs> Dankenstein's Revenge. Dankenstein's Revenge, and you I fuck, fucked it. You fucked up once, I fucked up twice. Two lefts make a... Like, 180. <laughs> <laughs> Don't flip me off! <laughs> I thought I failed. <laughs> so did I! Damn it, I lost. Welcome to Dankenstein's Revenge, kids. Then again, I lost from day one, you know why? Why? I tried going after a thing that doesn't have fucking emotions. You went for the calculator. You danced for a bit, but then you decided to take a lot and- Oh no, is this gonna end with porn? Are we gonna need the sensor? Uh, well, well, let's see. You named constellations after your favorite anime characters, and in the end you kissed. You kissed at least like, eight of her mouths, including the face one. Oh my fucking god. Best at whispering nasty stuff to birds. I came here as an eldritch horror, and now I leave as an eldritch cutie. Booyah. 29 charm can't save you from misplays. But what is this guy? <laughs> I don't know, we never met him. Who's the, who's the guy in the center? Look at him. 
Look at his dirt face. There's <laughs> Aegis looking nigga in the corner. Is that Polly too? <laughs> like just the actual goddamn number two on that shit. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Who are you? You see, you see the white furry guy next to me? Look like towards the top corner of his head. Is that a face? Wait, hold on. See that little face right there? What is that? I don't know. I'm confused. Those three works are maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster probably kept living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. And for those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed larger than life, and it was gone just like that. The battle for Monster Prom may have ended then, but that ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. For you, for you mortal folk. Yeah. <laughs> but once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I was probably very afraid. <laughs> I was also very afraid. You know what we call that? We call that getting this dub. You got the dub. I took another fat L. Shit. <laughs> oh wow, that really good. that's a sort of silly one. You know, some of these are characters I wish were playable. Like that right. Heartless Horseman looking guy. Another song that I'll totally get copyright claimed for. You know what? I guarantee the hipster vampire in the Gorgon fucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good sentence. <laughs> Not they're banned as the player characters. Prank juice. And a bunch of mustaches. That guy and the monster hunter. Who's the finger? He's a finger. Oh, calculus with your finger. <laughs> oh, that was me when me and Brandon when we were flexing on you and pool. Hey, it's not my fault. Brandon's just a tad too good and can always set it up to fuck me. You gotta remember what happened with that eight ball. I made that shot when the eight ball almost went in. <laughs> I know. Oh man, there's no way to explain. I know. Oh my god. So, uh, what we know is that Dankenstein's Revenge is absolute. You fucking Eldritch Horror, dude. How do you feel? I feel, uh, infinite, but at the same time condensed into a tight space. <laughs> I feel as though, um, my brain is melded with the void. Hey! Oh, hey. The shop now has a paper map. So vintage. You unlocked... You unlocked... Two new images. Oh, let's... Or 11. Depends on whether they use Roman numerals. Oh, it's variations. Oh, wow. This could have been you, but you suck. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I get them, dubs. I know. I'm great. Oh, these are just all the Polaroids we got. Those are from, like, the credits. Who is the monster hunter? Who's the finger? <laughs> I'm more worried about the finger guy. He's Fing a finger. <laughs> what else is he, Max? He's a He's a slime. He's a finger. He's a slime with a baseball cap. No, he's a finger. <laughs> <laughs> He's a disembodied finger, and he comes to school on a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> he creeps him down the street. It's, a, and it's not even a skateboard, it's an enlarged tech deck. Max. A tech deck with his thing <laughs> is a fucking skateboard. Except it's made out of cheap plastic. It's got real grip tape. Yeah, but it's also made out of cheap plastic. More. There's more. There's more. Oh my god. <sighs> I think we already had those unlocked. No, it says me. Can 
dramatization. Uh, That's rad. <laughs> That's how you video game. What? Who are you people? Who are you people? The coach. That's the coach. We've met him. The coven. We see them every time. I don't know who the fuck that I is. I wish the monster hunter was romanceable, because it'd all just be about trying to convince her not to kill you. Probably. What? Who is this anime motherfucker? That has something to do with Miranda, I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the Air Prince. Maybe. That's the football coach. That's, no, that's a werewolf guy. It's not we, it's not we met him. I don't know. No. He's definitely a werewolf, though. Fuck you. That's sweet. 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 Sweet victory. <laughs> She's fucking jacked. She is. Are we just gonna stand here and talk about these pictures? Or are we... Fuck that guy. <laughs> I loved voicing him. He's the worst. Fuck that guy. It's a yeti! Oh, he's a yeti. I, I really like the, uh... I liked, like, the, the robes on those cult guys. Mm-hmm. They, they look crispy. Whoa! It's concept art. He's digging now. He's I got am. something to look at. I'm an art student. I love concept art. What? It's a 3D model? Nani? Yes, it is. Yeah, that would, that would make sense to me. Oh, fan art. Oh. I guess fan art is just a huge fan of the Gorgon. Or at least for what we've unlocked. Yeah, we've only we've only done two. I mean three. Hey, you unlocked something. I unlocked the failure for him. <laughs> and we unlock we already have our two failures. A permanent reminder. Hey, I got my revenge in every possible aspect. Do you know what this means? We threw plates at her. We did throw plates at her, but you you know what this means. What? We'll have to do this again, like, in another few months. If there's more DLC. If there's more DLC. Which there might be. Well. What would we even call the third one? Max's Revenge. Fuck it. I'm just... I'm going for round two. Trying to get more points. I'm trying to perf that shit. So, yeah. That was, uh... That was Monster Prom, guys. Again. Round two. Round two. Of Mortal Kombat hit us. Round three might come soon because I can't tolerate not being able to win this fucking dating sim. Uh, you just need uh, some big boy energy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I know you're three times my size in every dimension. Yes. <laughs> um, I talk shit when I win because it's fun. Anyway... You see, normally, when you go one-on-one -on -one in a dating sim, you have a 50-50 chance of winning. Mm -hmm. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% chance, at best, at beat me. But then you add the blue snowball into the mix, mm -hmm. chances of winning drastic go down. Because there's a the three-way... Uh, monster Prom, you take your 25% chance... And then you take my 75% chance, but then the blue snowball knows it's not going to beat me, so it's not even going to try. In a three-way, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But, when you take your 33 and a third percent chance, minus your 25% chance if we just go one-on-one, -on -one, you got an eight and two-thirds chance of winning. But when you take my 75% chance of winning, and then you add the 66 and two-thirds percent chance, I have a 141 and two-thirds percent chance of winning. You see, Max, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at Monster Prom. Yeah, the numbers don't lie, you do, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Quit your bullshit. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all the shit. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Scott Steiner's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bye, everybody. Laters.